This pre-seminar video will focus on how to prepare your soil in a season extension structure. We will go through various different concepts such as aerating the soil, double digging, and using green manures in your season extension structures. I will also present the benefits and disadvantages to tilling or not tilling within your season extension structure. To begin, I will discuss the aspects of season extension soil preparation for maintaining soil temperature and fertility, which are two of the most important things in our season extension growing. First of all, we will need to determine how to get our soils up to at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit because for, for cool season hardy crops, this is the temperature we need and is necessary to start growing. In the next few slides, I will talk about working with the soil to insulate and keep temperatures warm. Then, in order to keep our soil fertility within our structures, we will talk about how the structure should be protected through crop rotation and successional planting as practices. Other methods to protect and vitalize the soil will be aeration, composting, mulching, and using green manures in your structures. Some very basic methods to work with your soil and keep it insulated are to use well composted soil with high organic matter content. This helps hold in moisture as well as heat. Two other forms of adding organic matter that insulate the soil and keep the temperature warm are using worm castings and using different types of mulching. There are various types of mulching that you can use to insulate your soil and we will run through a few of them in the next few slides. Lastly, you can use artificial heat for your structures. Furthermore, using compost piles to insulate your season extension structure is a very useful and effective way to keep your compost piles going over the winter as well as insulating and holding in as much air and soil temperature as possible in your season extension structures. A few ways to keep your compost pile in your structure are to use an A-frame within your structure and to use some plastic layering. You can also do this in combination with lining the sides of your season extension structure or the corners of your structure with compost piles. This keeps out the cold air that could come up from the sides of your structures and will hopefully keep your compost pile going throughout the winter. Lastly, you can incorporate worm bins or worm piles throughout your structure or alongside your structure. This has been proven to keep in a lot of heat and generate heat throughout the winter. Focusing on mulching within your structure can also be very useful for insulating heat. Sheet mulching, which is mulching several layers of green organic material and brown organic material within a bed, can build up frost tolerance within that bed. This here in this picture is an example of sheet mulching where greens are being added to the top of a bed that has been layered with browns and greens and those materials will break down and keep in warmth. Another way to mulch and hold in warmth is mulching your paths and creating soil within your paths while you're growing in your beds. And lastly, you can use plastic mulches and other types of covering materials such as landscaping fabric or row cover to create a mulched in warm space within your structure. In this clip you can see a simple example of aerating the soil of a bed. We're doing this with a spade fork. It can also be done with a broad fork. The second process in preparing your soil after aerating is breaking up the clumps and making sure that the soil is even and prepared to be planted in. Another method of soil aeration 
in soil preparation that is used for continued fertility is double digging. This is a practice that's typically used in a brand new garden bed and is not necessarily used from year to year in the same beds once they're already prepared. The reason for this is that it is a very labor intensive process and once it is done and the soil is aerated enough for roots to thrive and for microbial activity to aggregate the soil, it should not be necessary to do from year to year. The process of double digging begins at one end of a bed. You dig a foot by a foot trench across the bed's width. Once you dig up that foot, you then loosen the soil underneath that foot. After you've loosened this soil, you dig a similar trench right next to the one that you first dug. You then backfill the first trench. You continue to loosen the soil and build these trenches until you hit the end of the bed. With the soil from the first bed, you dump into your very last bed. And it should be evenly filled and aerated very deep within the soil. The last practice that we will discuss about soil fertility is using green manures or cover crops to enhance the soil nutrition within your structure. Green manures are a great way to increase the nitrogen within your soil. They can help to protect your soil from erosion as well as rejuvenate it after a long season. Many of these cover crops and nitrogen fixers are used in the field but are not always used in structures. However, they should be used in structures because they have a symbiotic relationship with bacteria that live in their nodules and they can fix nitrogen that is not readily available to plants. This is just as valuable within our season extension structures as it is in our fields. One of the main concepts we will discuss in lecture on soil preparation is preparing beds above the soil or growing within the soil in a structure. This will conclude your pre-seminar video for soil preparation. In lecture, we will follow through on a lot of these different topics and practice some of them within our season extension structures. 